everyone this is Kalpana here so in this video we are going to solve a differential equation using variable separable method so let's get started problem solve dy by dx equals to sine of x plus y plus cos of x plus y using variable separable method okay so we are given a differential equation solution given differential equation dy by dx equals to sine of x plus y plus cos of x plus y. So now we will take this x plus y equals to t. Let x plus y equals to t. Now differentiating on both sides with respect to x will get dx by dx plus dy by dx equals to dt by dx. dx by dx is 1 plus dy by dx equals to dt by dx. Again from this you can write dy by dx equals to dt by dx minus 1. Okay. So when x plus t, sorry, when x plus y equals to t, then dy by dx equals to dt by dx minus 1. Okay. Now, let us consider this equation as 1. Now, 1 becomes Now replace dy by dx by dt by dx minus 1 equals to psi or you're having x plus y right now put x, x plus y equals to t simply replace x plus y by t since x plus y equals to t we have made an assumption x plus y equals to t right now take this 1 minus 1 to right hand side. You will get dt by dx equals to 1 plus sin t plus cos t. So you could write it as dt by 1 plus sin t plus cos t equals to take this dx to right hand side. Okay. Simply we are taking RHS part to the denominator of the right hand side and this denominator dx to RHS. Write it as dt by 1 plus cos t plus sin t equals to dx since we know that cos 2 theta equals to 2 cos square theta minus 1 then you'll get 1 plus cos 2 theta equals to 2 cos square theta if you put theta equals to theta by 2 this becomes 1 plus cos 2 into theta by 2 is equals to 2 cos square theta by 2. Now cancel 2. So from this you will get 1 plus cos theta equals to 2 cos square theta by 2. Okay. So you can replace 1 plus cos t by 2 cos square t by 2. Also you have... Sin 2t equals to or sin 2 theta equals to 2 sin theta into cos theta. If you put theta equals to theta by 2, I will get sin 2 into theta by 2 equals to 2 sin theta by 2 into cos theta by 2. 
Now cancel this two. You get sine theta equals to two sine theta by two into cos theta by two. Okay. So you can replace one plus cos theta by two cos by t by two. That is one plus cos t. You are having right. You can replace one plus cos t by two cos by t by two and sine t by two sine t by two cos t by two. Okay. We are going to use these two formula. Since one plus cos theta equals to two cos square theta by two and sine theta equals to two sine theta by two into cos theta by two. This becomes. dt by one plus cos t is replaced by two cos square t by two plus sine t is replaced by two sine t by two into cos t by two equals to dx. So you could write it as. dt by two cos square t by two plus two sine t by two into cos t by two. So now we'll multiply cos t by two and divide cos t by two to this second term. So here we'll multiply cos t by two and divide cos t by two to this second term. Okay, equals to dx. We get Two cos square t by two plus two sine t by two into cos t by two. Cos t by two is cos square t by two by cos t by two equals to dx. So this becomes dt by. Now take two cos square t by two from these two terms. Now take two cos square t by two common from these two terms. Okay, we'll simply take two cos square t by two common from the two terms. So you'll get one plus two cos square t by two into one plus sine t by two by cos t by two. Sine t by two by cos t by two. Equals to dx. Okay. I'm writing the step again. Cos theta equals to secant theta. If you square on both sides, we'll get one by cos square theta equals to secant square theta. And also we know that sine theta by cos theta equals to tan theta. Okay. So here we are going to write this as one by two into 
cos square t by 2 into 1 by 1 plus sin t by 2 by cos t by 2 into dt equals to dx. Simply we will split. Okay. So you could write it as 1 by 2 into 1 by cos square the t by 2 into 1 by 1 plus sin t by 2 by cos t by 2 into dt equals to dx. Since we have 1 by cos square theta equals to secant square theta, right? So, we will replace it in terms of secant. Likewise, you are having sin theta by cos theta equals to tan theta. So, you will replace in terms of, you will replace it in terms of tan. So, this becomes sense. Okay. This becomes 1 by 2 into 1 by cos square t by 2 is secant square t by 2 into 1 by 1 plus sin theta by cos theta is tan theta. That is tan t by 2 into dt equals to dx. So you could write it as 1 by 2 secant square t by 2 by 1 plus tan t by 2 into dt equals to dx. So, you could write it as dx equals to 1 by 2 into secant square t by 2 by 1 plus tan t by 2 into dt. Now, integrating, since variables are separable, right? X terms are in LHS part. T terms are in RHS part. So we can say that the variables are separable here. Now integrating on both sides. To integrate, we use a formula. Since integral f dash of x by f of x into dx equals to log mod f of x plus c. Right? If you take 1 plus tan t by 2 as f of t, let f of t equals to 1 plus tan t by 2. Then what would be f dash of t? So f dash of t will be Derivative of 1, 0. Derivative of tan theta is secant square theta. Into inner derivative, you will get derivative of t by 2 is 1 by 2. Right? So, you will get into inner derivative. So, you have So, you will get f dash of t equals to 1 by 2 into secant square t by 2. Okay. So, you could write it as integral dx equals to integral. You can write this 1 by 2 secant square t by 2 as 1 plus tan t by 2 whole prime. That is the derivative of 1 plus tan t by 2.
since derivative of 1 plus tan t by 2 is 1 by 2 secant square t by 2, right? Simply we are replacing 1 plus secant square t by 2 by derivative of 1 plus tan t by 2, that is 1 plus tan t by 2 whole prime by denominator as it is. Okay, so that you can apply this formula without any confusion. Simply f dash of t by f of t integral dash of t by f of t into dt is log mod f of t plus c. So this becomes x is equals to so this is of the form or this is of f dash of x by f of x form, right? This is of the form integral f dash of x by f of x into dx form, right? So you could write it as log, you can apply the formula. You get log mod 1 plus tan t plus integral constant c. Now what we have to do is we will replace t. Now put t equals to x plus y. This becomes x equals to log mod 1 plus we will get t by 2 right. This is not simply t. This is t by 2. Alright. So now replace t equals to x plus y. This is your required solution. Or you can write it as x equals to log of 1 plus tan of x plus y by 2 plus which is the required solution. So we have seen a problem from differential equations in this video. All you need to have is little patience. So I hope you will understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.